Great. Uh, let me ask the, the the flip side of that question. What, what what's the downside for somebody watching this, considering getting into this lifestyle? What what's the downside? You said it. Jealousy, jealousy, um, dealing with the cattiness. You know, women can be catty and jealous, and just having to sit down and have the talks. Sometimes, you know, as a man, you gotta sit and talk. If you got, if you're in a monogamous relationship, you gotta. Oh, let me have some patience. Let me talk and break this thing down. It's having to do that multiple times a day sometime with multiple people when you're already pretty much rolling out. You're like, yo, I had a I had a conversation that made me oh, already today, you know, and you may have to do it again with someone else. And so I find that. But it's all worth it. You know, it's worth it. People not lying when they say it could be a headache because one woman, I mean, just building with one person could be a headache. So I think that is true. You got to be willing to accept that and roll with the punches, you know, and eat that, you know. But you're getting so much of a benefit, it's worth it. I'm not complaining at so all. So even within this poly lifestyle, women are still going to be women, meaning it, it's not like you oh, yeah. uh, put a gun in nobody's head. It's not like you right. coerce somebody to come into this relationship. You're saying, look. They voluntarily came into this relationship and I still deal with jealousy. I still deal with cattiness. Oh, yeah. And I still deal with. Oh, yeah. Women <laughs> like bottom line. Women. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you can't escape it. You know, you can't escape it, you know. Um, but I think it's healthy when I think it's healthy when you don't have to deal with it alone, because sometimes you can go, hey, you know what? You're being catty. And they go, no, I'm not. But you got three other women going, yes, you are, you know, and I think that helps the conversation that I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be just a man calling it out. It's like other people are affected. Other people are feeling feeling that energy, too. And I think it helps, you know, it helps because I think a lot of times women don't see the same vision the man sees. Sometimes sometimes they're being catty or condescending and they don't know. But. Having some other people around, I think it also lightens the load that you're not just the man just always pointing it out. or And then they do it to each other. So they learn a, another consciousness of like, I don't like when she does it to me. Like, when I saw her be catty, damn, I didn't like that. When I saw her be condescending, I didn't like how she treated you. And then it makes her adjust how she treats me too. And so I think it, it helps the consciousness of the queen too. Got you. You know something? Is there a such thing as cheating in a poly relationship? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Break that yeah, down. Like, let's, yeah, let's say um, I'm dating a queen and she's going, I don't want you doing that. You need to get down with me. It happens. It happens where I'm courting a wife, I'm courting a mm -hmm. new woman, and she's trying to get me out of there. She's going, yo, you know what me and you can do? And, and now if I if I if I entertain that, I'm cheating. Or if I go have sex with her or, you know, or I'm spending my money on her, I'm cheating because I'm taking from my family. So you know? even, even as simple, with them. I mean, if, you, if you're dating, I got to believe you're going out to a movie, you, you're going out to eat. Yes. Is that yes. considered cheating? No, not. Um, as long as it's in the courting stage, let's say it gets past that stage. Let's say I know that, um, let's say I already hung out with her three, four times and I know where it's going. If I still keep entertaining it and she's not trying to build this relationship with me, we consider that cheap. Cause why am I still trying to entertain and build with her? Why am I still hanging out, wasting time, not hanging with my own wives, wasting money, hanging out. I could have took somebody else to the movies. I could have took somebody else on a boat ride or. Uh, to the beach or whatever. So yeah, I try not to, I try not to just hang out and waste time with people. Yeah, because that's we consider that cheating. Same thing with them. If they're steady in their phone, smiling and texting a girl that I know didn't want our relationship, then that's a red flag. That means something's wrong. It's like that's like cheating. You know? Are you jealous? Are you a jealous man? Uh, I find myself. I find myself jealous sometimes, but I check myself, you know. I find myself jealous sometimes, naturally. Uh, even when they treat each other nice. I say, you know, if, they, if they're enjoying each other so well and, and I see them 
like love each other, I can find myself like, hey, you know, I didn't get that look yet today or, you know, but I check myself, you know, because I also want to see them happy. So I check myself and I want them to be treated good and I want them to be happy and feel loved and feel wanted. And so I check myself. OK, too. it's not that often, but it's OK, happens. but they're still women. So I, and I got to believe that that they didn't come into the relationship as uh, homosexuals, if you will, or bisexual, if you will. Yeah, they, no. they still Some like did. men. So when I ask you, right. are you jealous in any way? You know, I get what you're saying that maybe they're giving each other some love. But do you find yourself right. getting jealous? Them looking outside the relationship, nah, them, them looking at another man. Nah. nah. <laughs> because um, I know that they're on what I'm on. And um, in order... In order for me to be jealous, dude, it had to be Christ or somebody himself. I go, <laughs> because he has to be able to do what I'm doing for them better. You know, to me, I'm going, all right, if you want to go, you know, leave what we're doing and go be somebody who, because they're not that person. They're not monogamous people anymore. They're not that person anymore. I know who they are and what they want from life, you know? So if I see them getting attracted, because I've lost women before. I've had, I've had seven wives at one point. And... I've lost a woman and I didn't mind. You know, I said, well, if you feel like you don't want to do poly and you want to go do monogamous, monogamous relationship, I'm not jealous at all. Well, I'm, I'm not even, not I'm even not even talking thing. about going from poly to monogamous. I'm talking about, look, y'all kid, you're a great guy. I love this, this, this tribe <laughs> we built, but that other dude up the street, I, I actually, <laughs> you know, I'm starting to dig him. And this dude look good. And, no, I've, and, had, I've never seen that. I've never seen that. You got it. I've never you, seen. You got that. a hell of an ego on you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you got on the hell of an ego on you. <laughs> and, and, and it's and it's probably well deserved. You got five wives right now. So, <laughs> what's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.